Hey everyone, welcome to video number four on the Aeroponic Strawberry Garden Series 2018. It's been about two weeks since my last video. Uh, you can see some progress. There's a lot of a lot of different things that I've done. You can see the, the growth on some of these. This is one of the original plants that started to flower. There's another one here. There was, there was three pretty quickly that started to flower after they were put in. There's another one. And then now we have three new plants that are starting to flower. There's one here. Another one right next to it. I get some flowers and this one over here. Get some flowers. You can see the uh, the cabbage plant over here is just the size of my hand in there compared to that leaf. It's huge, it's just taking over. Look at the roots inside of that. It's just taking up this whole bin itself. It's almost taking up the bin next to it too. This little one right here was the first runner that we rooted. It's been in the system for probably about two weeks now. There's another one over here that just went in about a week ago. Uh, you see the roots just starting to come out on that one. Or this one over here. That's only about two weeks worth of root growth on that. So this this uh, jalapeno pepper plant I just put in a few days ago. It's a lot of growth that's doing good so far. I put another, put a fluorescent light in uh, about a week, week and a half ago. These are just T8 bulbs, 3000K to go along with the LEDs up there. Uh, we're still only on one reservoir. It's uh, topping off right now. I'm trying to bring the temperature up of the reservoir too. The, the temperature of the reservoir for a while, long time was only 62, 64 degrees. And the seemed to have been hurting the growth as as soon as about a week ago I started to bring the temperature up, everything started to grow a lot, a lot better. Let's see we're at 73 degrees right now. And that's about it. A couple in here trying to grow from seed. This system is running a cycle right now. It's uh, circulating, now it's going to mist. This gives it one quick one second burst. <clears throat> it's every 10 minutes it gives two one second bursts. So over the weekend we had a power outage for probably about two or three hours. So everything in this panel here is connected to a battery backup right on the other side of the wall. So I've tested it before and it worked, but this was the first live test where we really didn't have power. So it, that runs the misting system, everything in this cabinet. Uh, the battery backup doesn't include the lights, but of course the more important thing is that you still keep misting the roots even when the power is out. So that was a successful run. Thanks for watching.